Right then everybody, welcome back to Anglo Calm. Now, just before I get into this review, I do want to say, if you are enjoying the content and you, you are liking the reviews, then please make sure you subscribe to the channel because it really does help me out and I really do appreciate it. Push comments down below, do all that good stuff and let's get into this review. So today guys, I am going to be reviewing the Death Ship pre-tied pole rigs. So why are these so good guys because honestly i think these are a brilliant idea and i remember using these when i first started fishing and i still use them every now and again so first of all guys the retail price is four pound and 49 pence now it's not bad but there's one little negative for me in all this it is cheaper in the long run to buy some line pole floats rubbers and hook lens and do them yourself you will be cheaper in the long run doing that because if you were to buy two of these that's already nearly 10 pound but the re what these are designed for is the person who's getting into fishing and who doesn't know how to tie a pole rig yet or for someone like me at times that's a bit too lazy to make the rig or they've gone out fishing and they haven't got time to essentially tie up one of these rigs these are already pre-done and also guys it has a bit of information i'm going to take this little cardboard bit out it does come with a nice winder as well and they have these little black things where you can move it up and down to lasso the uh, rig on and then your little hook goes in this triangle bit obviously there's not a rig on because it's currently on the pole which i'll show you guys um so what's kind of cool as well is this it'll tell you what baits you can use on them it'll tell you how it's being designed so for argument's sake there's a bulk shot and a dropper generally speaking on most of these dead ship rigs they are starts rather than shots so if you do want to move them around you can move them around guys and play around with them like that the length generally speaking on most of these is always three meters i have seen them before it's six meter i believe it's a 4x12 float and it always tells you as well what line they are using. Now, I, I wouldn't be able to tell you just now, guys, how many different types of these they are. This is the F1 Fine Maggot one. They do carp ones. They do lots of different F1 types. They do shallow ones. Honestly, guys, I've, there is so many that i can't even describe in this video i'm just reviewing this specific one that i've got on me today um but yeah there's that many guys there's there's loads there's literally absolutely loads so let's say you want a 4x14 with a size 14 hook you can get them they do do a very wide variety to suit your fishing needs and what sort of situation that you are fishing in as for the rigs, guys, I'm going to get it here. The line's very well uh, done. It's nice and straight. There's no kinks. You've got the Preston floats so they don't scrimp and scrape on these guys. And it does slide up the line nice and easy. And then, as mentioned, when we get to the business end, these are the stots. I'm going to try and just show you guys right there. And then sometimes they'll bulk them, they'll add like a little dropper there. And then it's got a loop to loop on the hook length right here. And then also that is your hook right there. And generally speaking, guys, I've never really had any problems with these. They've all been very good. The hooks are nice and sharp. I've had problems in the past. Normally these floats on here, a shot of dam perfectly so you can see the orange bristles so for argument's sake if i can show you guys here without tangling anything so generally speaking they will be shot down perfect so the shot of the now i have had it in the past guys where sometimes the float's been sat a little bit higher or a little bit lower all you have to do with that is either sometimes take a shot off if it's too um, if it's too low in the water or add a shot or start on if it's too high up but generally speaking for the most part it they have been uh, shot damn right 
So again, I'm going to go through another what I would see as a negative, and that is if you do break this rig, let's say your hook length snaps off or what have you, you would have to go and buy another one. One thing I will say is always save the floats. Don't go chucking the floats, guys, be uh, because when you do come to make your own rigs, you can use these floats that are on you and save the rubbers as well because you can just slide them straight on. But for me, these are something more for a beginner um, angler who's just got into fishing, maybe your kids got into it or you've got into it and you know, you're a bit confused on how to tie rigs, then these are the way to go, guys. Because I remember, like I said, when I first started, I had no clue how to tie rigs or how to do anything like that. And I literally went out, bought one of these. Obviously, you know, you make sure you do your research on different size hooks and, you know, what have you. You will need to cut these down 99.9% .9 of the time, but all you do is literally you take it off the end of here cut the line to the length that you want and put an overhand loop knot in and attach it back on it's that simple and also guys to put them back on the uh, little winder so what i do go to the back of it put the hook in and then wind it up like that and then keep winding sometimes guys if you get lucky like i've probably just done the air the floor will sit exactly on it. If not, you just have to move your floor up or otherwise it gets trapped. And again, same goes for putting this on, which I think I've got lucky there, to be honest, guys. And then all you do, you put your loop on that and then it sits on it, ready to go for the next time when you, do, when you go fishing, guys. And like I said, I do like... I do like the idea of these, the, you know, the, they're good for beginners, you know, and these Preston Dead Ship ones are very good quality, guys. They won't let you down. And they should last you a while. Obviously, depending on how much you fish and stuff, they should last you quite a bit of time. Now, obviously, when you do get more advanced and, you know, you start learning how to tie rigs, I'd recommend you do start learning to tie rigs because, like I've said, you will save you send a lot of money. They're not bad if you're a beginner and you're not fishing much. You can buy a few. But say if you were to start buying loads of these, the bill would start racking up. They're not bad. You know, if you need one, say if you've snapped off or you haven't got one, you can quickly go and buy one of these from the shop. That's where I see these being useful. A beginner, or if you're in a bit of a rush, you, you know, you can't tie a rig, just quickly buy one of these. If you did enjoy this review, make sure you leave a big like on the video. It really does help me out. Post your comments down below, share this video around and subscribe for new videos and honest reviews every single week. And as always, if you're fishing, have a good one.